Hey guys, welcome to Fur Tutorials. So guys, today I create really cool water simulation animation in Cinema 4D. So firstly guys, I take spare and guys increase spare segments like 50 and I go to display here, select oscillating lines and second shape. Guys, I take cube, yes. And guys, go to front view panel like this and guys select this pair this one and make editable click on here yes right and now i increase size select the scale tool and increase like this yeah right see guys little bit more select and increase size yeah this one is better and now guys select this point and use rectangle selection tool Guys, select this points, last one, and use scale tool and create flat shape and up. Yes, right, guys. Create one third spare. Yeah, and now, guys, I take bowl tool, select this bowl, select both shape and make child with bowl. Yes. See guys, I create shape like this. Okay, guys, that's my first shape. And now right click on this bowl, select children. And one more time, right click, connect object plus delete. Yes, right. Okay, guys, my first shape is complete. Now I take second. So I take spare and only spare radius. I take 300 centimeter, right? 300 centimeter. And also increase segments like 100 is good. Guys, go to front view panel and select this pair and down. Yes. Right. And little bit up. Yeah. Right. Okay. See, guys, that's my shape. And now you can hide this pair. Hide. And this time, guys, I take real flow plugin. So I take go to real flow and use screen. Yes, and go to emitter and use circle, this one. Yes, circle go on up like this, right? And guys, play. Yeah, right? Okay, guys, I change some setting on flirt. So select this flirt and I go to display size. I take like three and I go to again flirt this one and resolution. I take like 20. Yes, go to back and play. Yeah, this one is better. Okay, now guys, I apply real flow tag on the shape. So select this bowl, this one, and right click on this here, real flow tag, and use collider. That's it. Go to back and play. Yes, great. See, guys, right? Guys, I increase frame like 500. Go to back and play. Yeah, great. Right, guys, that's really cool. Okay, now go to back. Guys, this time I create rotation animation. So select this bowl and I go to chord, go to zero frame, and that's my R.H rotation. Yes, go to zero and check guys go to last frame 500 and rotation randomly like 1000 actually 1080 yes and play actually check press this animation key and play yes great right guys that's my rotation animation yes okay guys now this time, I also apply collider tag on this pair out of this one. So select this pair and right click real flow tag and use collider. And guys, one more time, right click real flow tag and use volume this one. Yeah. And guys, volume mode uncheck and volume take solid outside. Yes. Go to back and play.
See guys, that's really cool. See guys, that's my water simulation. Right? Okay. Guys, stop. Guys, now I apply gravity. So again, I go to real flow and use gravity. This one. Yes, that's it guys. And play. Yeah, nice. Right guys, that's good. See. Guys, you can hide this also bowl. Hide and hide on render. Bow dot. Yes, go to back and play. Yes, but guys see, that's not looking a water splash effect. So stop. Now, go to emitter and I go to object. Actually, emission. Select this emitter and I go to emission and speed. Guys, you can take like 400 centimeter. Go to back and play. Yes, great. See guys, right? That's pretty cool. Guys, you can take 400 and 500, it's depend on your work. You can increase speed. Okay, so stop. Guys, go to screen and go to solver and use GPU check and auto params uncheck and all shape. Take like 10, 10 and 10. Yes, and play. Yeah, that's nice. See guys, that's my water splash effect. Right? It's really good. Okay, so guys, stop. Guys, that's my water splash. It's really good. Right? Okay, so guys, one more time. I check all settings. Gravity, gravity is good. Flood. Guys, resolution take 200 and density is good and display good guys emitter speed only change and yeah all is good okay now guys this time i apply mesh that's it and play yeah see guys that's my mesh Yeah, nice. See guys, that's really cool animation. I really love this water splash effect. It's like a flower. Right? Okay, see. Okay, now guys, I apply material. Go to load material and go on here. File. Guys, apply red material on mesh and use C4D Studio Lite. Go to file and merge and press this close key. And guys, select flow and background and down. Yes. And also set light over at soft box. Go and mate. Little bit down. And set also small soft box. Go on here and back. Yes. Right. And hide and hide on render. Right? Okay. Guys, my camera angle like this and play. Yes. Guys, take camera and camera check. Guys, camera angle go on here on zero frame and little bit back. Yes. And select this camera and press this animation key. Yeah. And go to last one. Same. Press this animation key. Guys, I go to like 250 frames, 250 and camera angle on top like this and press this animation key. Yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, my animation is finished. Now I go to render setting and guys, I take simple render setting, MB occlusion and global illumination, indirectly catch, I take low, anti select only geometry, save. Guys, go to JPEG sequences and go to desktop 
you can create new folder and take any file name like a and output use all frame that's it and guys after enter actually before enter go to screen and i go to cache and cache simulation check after all frame cache press this render key right okay so guys that's it that's my simple water simulation animation is finished so if you like my video please share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you